Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Oh, this is wonderful. This is so wonderful. Glory, hallelujah, Lord. This is so magnificent. Glory, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. The true worship. Oh, Lord, when the true worshipers come together, huh? Worshiping God in spirit and in truth. Oh, he moved so mightily. Amen. Amen. Oh, he moved so mightily. Hey, listen. Today has been so beautiful. So wonderful. You may have to see It has been so wonderful. Amen. Amen. Because of where we are in Christ. I mean, I have never in my life been in such a place where I am right now. Amen. It, it has never, ever been a time uh, when, when I'm where I am right now. And I'm not preaching this morning. Amen. I have a message, but I'm not going to preach it this morning. You know why? Because we're going to come out the box. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to do things out of tradition, out of all of none of that. Amen. Right. Amen. We're going to let the Holy Spirit have his way. Yeah. Because see, in tradition Hallelujah. and religion, we, we had, we had a, a debate this morning in, in the seminar, right? And, um, and it was so interesting because one of the team members that was supposed to be either pro or con was, was still in the middle. <laughs> Right? Still didn't know which way they wanted to go with the debate. And they on the team. And I and I and after it was over, I told him, I said, he said, I don't know which way I want to go. And I said, boy, if you had been on my team, <laughs> you'd understand me. Uh, but I tell you how God orchestrates everything. Amen. That was a setup from the beginning. Come on. Amen. Because after they debated, they did their um uh, their talk and their, their rebuttals and all that kind of stuff, right? right? I was supposed to say who won, right? right. But I was, I, uh, not me. <laughs> I just came to observe. Okay. Okay. And, um, and uh, the Holy Spirit let me know to have the one that didn't know. Mm -hmm. That's the one that should make the decision, yeah. right? Yeah. Because he's heard both sides, right? And he went on and made the decision. And, and it was it was wonderful. It was wonderful. Everybody agreed, both teams, all that good stuff. Because it wasn't a vote, none of that. It was he came to the consensus based on what was presented, right? And so one thing came out of that in the explanation of why this team won. And they mentioned something about punishment. God's punishment. And that became a big topic. Amen. You know, and they finally asked me what did I think about that, and I got a chance to explain. Amen. You understand? And what I was able to explain was this, mm -hmm. is that the Word of God, right? Amen. Which is God, Amen. the Bible says, in the beginning mm -hmm. was the Word. Yes, sir. See, the word didn't come in the 14th century. Come on. Come on. By King James. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. He, he just had it translated into English. Yes, sir. Amen. But the word was in the beginning. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah. In yeah. the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Amen. And then it goes, this is 1 John 1 and 1. And then it goes on to say that the word was made flesh. The word took on a body. Yes, sir. And dwelt among us yes, on sir. this earth, right? Yes, sir. In the form of our Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. And all that believe in him, to them gave he the power to become sons of God. Yes, sir. Even then they believe on his name. So that's all it takes. Mm -hmm. And then what he did, he gave us a new covenant. Yes, sir. Thank you. See, the Bible is based on two parts. You got the Old Testament and the New Testament. Amen. Right? Yes, 
Yes, sir. Amen. So in the Old Testament, Come on. oh yeah, it was about punishment. Come on. Ooh, it was about punishment. Yes, sir. You could have one person in your whole nation Come on. do something wrong. God said, kill the whole nation. Yes, sir. Come on. Kill the whole nation. Dog, cat, hogs, everything they got. Goldfish, all of them. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was then. Right. But see, then his son came. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. He sent his son to redeem man back to himself because of what Adam and Eve did yes, in sir. the garden that separated us from God. So he said to the word, his son, he's told him, it's time for you to go down there and bring my people back to me. Yeah. And in doing that, I'm going to give you a new covenant. Yes, sir. I'm going to give you what's called the New Testament. Yes, sir. Mm. <laughs> you see. Yeah. So in this New Testament, it's about grace. Yes, sir. Amen. It's by grace that ye are saved. Amen. You see, not of works, not of ourselves, mm. because it's a gift yes, from God that we save. That's a gift. Amen. Amen. And, and, and in that, there is no punishments. Come on. That's Old Testament. Amen. See, in, in grace, it's all about love. Yeah. And, and then the debate went all into our children. You see. Because uh, um, A.P. Rocky was given an example mm -hmm. to prove his point. Amen. Where, where's Michael? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Michael was over there with the girls playing. Mm -hmm. And Rocky gave an example. See, if, if Michael did something, and I tell him I'm going to whoop his butt, mm -hmm. that's all Michael heard. Amen. I saw his head going. <laughs> 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 and I had to immediately, I was over here run over here and let Michael know, no, you're good, dude. You ain't got nothing wrong. <laughs> you understand? And that was a perfect example of the kind of father we have. Yeah. We don't run around looking for ways to beat our children. Come on. Amen. How could I beat that up today? Amen. No, we don't, we don't go around. We, we, I mean, I'm talking about sane people. Yes, sir. I'm, talking, I'm talking about okay. sane. Okay. Let me clarify that. The same people go around looking for ways to bless their children. Yes, sir. Yes. I mean, if I got to get up every morning and go to a job I can't stand, I'm going to get up because I'm looking for ways to bless my children. Yes, I'm going to do whatever it takes yes, to bless my children. So how in the hell do you think you're smarter than God? Come on. All right. Come on, right. son. Come on, Pastor. Come on. He the one made us like that to where we want to bless our children. Amen. Amen. To where we want to stand there for them. Come on, Pastor. You see. Amen. So it, it was it was so beautiful and interesting how this thing went. And I was telling them we need to come out the box. Amen. Mm -hmm. As a church, out Amen. of tradition and Amen. religion. How come y'all gotta come to church and hear me preach every Sunday? Mm -hmm. I'm the only one God talk to. <laughs> I I hope not. No, no. See, we got to do things different. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And man, when we realize that we're free, yes, sir. we're not under the law. Yes. You understand? Yes, sir. Jesus fulfilled the law. Yes, sir. Yes. Redeemed us from the curse of the law. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. And we got Negroes two, over 2,000 years later still trying to live under the curse. Come on. Mm. 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 Two thousand years later, we still ain't learned why Jesus came. <laughs> you understand? Know yes, sir. Right, we still judging people. Come on, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. You know, I, and I closed my little part of it. I said, um, yeah, how crazy this is. See, God said in his word that all things are lawful, mm -hmm. but all things aren't expedient. Mm -hmm. yeah. What that means is, I ain't tripping what you do, but you better trip it. It might not be good for you. Come on. Mm -hmm. 
Uh -huh. mm. You see. Well. And what's good for me might not be good for you. Well, well, well. What's good for you might not be good for me. Come on, talk about it. Talk you about see, it. I don't drink one. I don't like it. Because it gives me gas. Oh, I like how it makes me feel, you know, but I don't want to walk around. <laughs> huh? Thank you. You understand? But you might see me with a glass of red wine and lose your whole salvation. Come on. Lose your salvation because you saw a pastor with a glass of red wine. I'm going to tell you what kind it is. Semi sweet. Not, not too dry, but too sweet. <laughs> And now you done lost your salvation. Yes, sir. Because you saw me with a glass of wine. Mm -hmm. And Pastor said, you don't drink wine. I saw him drink wine. Mm -hmm. Well, what you didn't see is I went to the doctor Come on, to sir. get a physical. Ain't nothing wrong with me. I feel good. Oh, yeah, and I look oh. even better. Hold on. You mind telling me, why don't you ever go to the doctor? You pay for it. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I'll go get a physical. And uh, everything was good, except one. And that was my cholesterol was a little high. Because see, it, got, it was high about 10, 15 years ago. When I was about like 215, eating everything. I ate over a dozen eggs a week, because I love breakfast. I'm gonna cook me three or four eggs in the morning. And I'm gonna do that about three, four, five times at least. I might eat breakfast at one in the morning. Because <laughs> they love breakfast. Amen. So last time I had it, it was up high. Um, the doctor, it was my personal doctor, and he knew how I was going to take pills and all that kind of stuff. Uh, he gave me a list of what not to eat and what to eat. So when when the when the, the doctor they just gave me my physical, you know, that's not my real one. They just gave me the physical. She came back and said, uh, "Cholesterol's a little high, but I could prescribe you X, Y, and Z to bring it down." I said, "No, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. My cholesterol was high once before, years ago, and they gave me a list of what I should start eating, and I did that. You know, I quit eating." Four or five slices of bacon with four or five eggs and all that every morning and all the shrimp and lobster and crab that I love. You understand? Come on. Because I'm eating all that. Went back to the doctor a few months later and my cholesterol was normal. Come on. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yeah. yeah. As with everything else that's happened in my life. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You see? Because our bodies have the ability to heal itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we'll be mm -hmm. of that. But anyway, it was normal. So what I did, I let my knowledge kick in mm -hmm. yeah. and it reminded me of what happened in the past mm -hmm. and how it worked. So I said, no, nah, I declined that. I got a list last week. She said, oh, she said, okay, well, I'll send you a list. And I'm thinking to myself, why did you do that in the first place? Because uh -huh. we need to sell dope, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. We, we, we dope dealers, that's why I got to prescribe the pills first. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. She didn't say that, but you know that. That's, what it, yeah. that's what it is. That's what it is. So um, so she gave me the list. I looked at the list, told me what to eat and all that. And I uh, went to cut back on. But then it said, and have a glass of red wine every day. So what might be good for me? May not be good for you. Come on. Amen. You might can't drink a glass of wine because they told you in AA if you take one drink, Amen. you use. You, you. Come on, sir. But that, that's not what my, my God Lord, said. Lord. Who the Son said, free is free indeed. On, if you want to go have a drink on and have some wine Come for on, your sir. stomach's sake. Come on. Timothy. Yes, sir. Remember that? Yes, sir. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, so see, don't lose your salvation looking at somebody else. Come on. Come on. And I'm closing with this. I'm almost done. I'm closing with this here, right? I'm closing with this. In this process we've been in of our mind, 
will and emotion. Oh, we've been in that for a couple of months. Yes, sir. And it has grown me so. Yes, sir. I have grown more than I ever have in my whole life. Amen. You understand? Communication with God is so open. and It has just been beautiful because we're understanding who we are. Yes, sir. You see, our mind, how it works, our will and our emotions, how all that works together for us. You got to listen to the other uh, the series, it's a series. I preached about three or four of them, and other people have preached two or three of them. Yes, sir. In the same vein. But yes, it's sir. powerful. Yeah. Yes, sir. It is powerful. Come on, man. And what I learned is just like we have our mind, will, and emotion. That's the three parts of who we are spirit, soul, and body. Yes, sir. We're spirit beings, we live. In this physical body, and we have a soul, which yes, is a mind, will, and emotion. We own our soul. You see, because we can think however we choose to. You can sit up and think about whatever you want to think about God. Not going to interrupt you. Huh. He let you think about whatever Satan tells you to, whatever he tells you to think about. Because it's all our will. Yeah. Our right? Yes, sir. So I'm looking at this three. And then God is three in one. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Okay. We're three in one. And even out of the three in one, our soul is three. Mm-hmm. Mind, will, and emotion. Uh-huh. You know? Yes, sir. And I was talking to some people. Um, you know about exercise and things. And we was talking about grown man strength. You know, when you're young, you got young man strength, right? <laughs> But then when you get a little older, you get grown man strength, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> but there's another level Amen. that we don't even talk about, don't even tap into. Come on. A whole nother level. Come on, sir. And because God works in threes. Amen. We serve a triune yes, God. Sir. Three and one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You understand? Even eggs. Three and one. Come on. Come on. They produce life. All three. So we got our young man strength. Our grown man strength. But what's the third one? God explained it to us like this. He said, young man strength is found in your genitals. Your genitals. You know what you call it. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. Young man strength. When you're a young man, that's all you think about. Every 15 seconds, they say, you thinking about using your young man's strength. <laughs> Wake up in the morning, young man's strength ready. Am I right, yes, man? Sir. Yes, yes, sir. It's true. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's your young man's strength. Well. Because your young man's strength is given to you to procreate. Yes, sir. To replenish the earth. Yes, to start your kingdom. Yeah. That's why you get all that strength. Down here. But then after you've given that strength, and now you have procreated, now you do have children, now it's time for your grown man strength yes, sir. to kick in. Amen. Right? Mm-hmm. Because now your grown man strength has to carry you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Your grown man strength yeah. has to protect them. Yes, sir. Your grown man strength has to see. See, when you're a young man, you don't have that kind of strength. You could get a job you wanted, and 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 you bought concert tickets two months ago, and and and, and you asked them, "Can I take off this opera?" And they said, "No, you can't. We need you here." See, young man strength say, "I ain't well. I quit. <laughs> I'm going to the concert because see, I ain't got nobody to uphold. I'm still just trying to make more." That I might not even take care of. Young man. Yes, sir. But see, see grown man yes, sir. say, oh, that's all right. You know, I'd sell these tickets because I, I got to carry my load yes, and I need my grown man strength yeah. to do that because I got to provide, I got to protect, I got to cover, I got to carry. See, that's why I showed this abroad so we could carry the weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Y'all right. show the curve so you could nourish what we give. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's good. Right. That's good. 
you see. Well, you better preach. Come on, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You gotta yes, sir. carry. A grown man carries. Yes, sir. He gets up, go to school. He does whatever it takes. Yes, Work a full-time job, go to school, do community work, whatever it takes to take him. That's for grown man strength. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But see, when I was a child, I thought like one. I understood like one. I spake like one. But when I became a grown man, I put away. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See? So what happens now, a grown man strength is carrying the load. But there's another level. And that's called wise man. Come on, sir. Yeah, man. Come on, mm. sir. Mm. Come on. Man. Wise man. See, it starts here. Then it comes here. But after you've carried this load. Yes, sir. After you've gone through all the challenges of fatherhood, motherhood. See, this is this is for both. Yeah, it is. I just didn't want to talk about it. Y'all uh -huh. know part. I hear you. <laughs> it, this covers both. Yes, it does. Okay. But now, since you carried all those children, uh -huh. you've supported, you've provided, you've protected, yeah. you've gone through hell with every last one of them. You've survived it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The hell. Hmm. Come on, sir. Then we go through Amen. being a grown man. Yes, sir. Being a grown woman. Yes, sir. Amen. But now all that experience mm -hmm. of the 20, 30, mm -hmm. sometimes 40 years to raise your children. Mm -hmm. All of that knowledge that you gain is now stored in your head. Amen. And that's your wise man or woman strength. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. You see, and to be in this realm. Come on. Amen. It's the most beautiful place in the world. So while you young, use your young man strength. Young woman strength. Provide, make your family. Yes, sir. Then become grown. Yes, sir. And provide and take care of your family. Yes, sir. And then all that you learn through your struggles, Thank you. all that you go through, knowing that it's never gonna leave you. Thank you. Amen. It will be here yes, sir. for the rest of your days. Amen. You understand? And as a wise man or woman, you will be able to give what it took you 60, 70 years to gain to somebody else in two or three minutes. That's what you got to look forward to. So while you're going through your troubles, your, your challenges of raising your children, Making ends meet, protected. While you're going through all them challenges, keep in mind that they're going to go up in here one day and you'll be able to tell your story how you got over. You'll be able to tell your story. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why your kingdom is so blessed. Yeah. You get to tell your story why everybody associated with me, kingdoms are blessed. Because they're gone after 60 some years of hell and hot water and victory and sunshine and rain and mountains and valleys. They glory. It don't matter how you had to get it, as long as you got it. Hallelujah. As long as you got it. Thank you, Lord. And that's what you hold on to. Yes, sir. No matter what I got to go through, I'm going to get to my wise woman. I'm going to get to my wise woman. Strength. Because there's a whole bunch that needs you and everything you went through. Christina, Peggy, everything you went through is a whole bunch of women that need you. Me and the men writing a book right now on how to be the king. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See? Yes, sir. And it's going to be full of all our challenges we went through. Amen. Becoming a king. Uh-huh. All of them we overcame. Yes, sir. All the victories. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Knowing who we are. See, it's enough to know about Peter and Paul and James and, and all them, but I need to know how to handle Eric. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on sir. Yeah. Son. Come on. EJ. Come on. Pastor. Come on. Daddy. Brother. Son. Grandfather. I need to know. Amen. Come on. Man. Come on. And I said I was going to preach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, glory to God. Spirit. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But that's where we all go. Yes, sir. Yes, but see, sir. the goal is to have the mind of Christ. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Amen. And you know, we try to work on our bodies. Had the body of Christ too. Because he wasn't a wimp like no, this. Sir. Come on. He was a carpenter. He had to carry wood and build stuff. And you know what I'm saying? Come on. It's true. Yeah. Walked everywhere they went. How they do <laughs> Great shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we <laughs> the mind of Christ. That's where we're going, right? Yes, sir. Right. So whenever a situation comes, you pull on the knowledge. Because okay. see, what we want to do is we want to do it backwards. Mm -hmm. We pray for God to give us wisdom. Mm -hmm. You understand? We want to use God's wisdom. And don't use our knowledge, because it's three of them. Amen. He said, I'm going to give you knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Yes, sir. And you got to have them all. Yes, sir. To deal in his wisdom. Mm. Three is thing, three is something. See? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Well, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But in order to get the wisdom, you got to call on your knowledge first. Uh -huh. Thank you. So when the doctor tells you you got to have surgery, or you need these pills, you call on your knowledge. Yes, sir. Yeah. The last thing I tore up in my body from doing too much. Because, <laughs> you on. know, some people, we just go crazy. Yes, we sir. Working out. We, we, we <laughs> accept the fact that we get old. <laughs> 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 but anyway, it's getting better. That's what I call it. Yes, sir. So we get to call on those past experiences. Yes, sir. And that gives us the knowledge to say the right thing. Right. Amen. Amen. See? You don't say, oh, damn, God didn't heal me. Come on. Because that's what Satan just told you. Mm. Mm. You say, I don't care how I feel. I'm healed in Come Jesus. On. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, that's he right. did it that's before, right. he'll do it again. Yeah. And that's calling on your knowledge. And now that God said, oh, you got the knowledge. Amen. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. Now you understand how this works. Mm -hmm. Now you get my wisdom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's good. Yes, sir. And I'm going to stop because I can keep going. I'm full. See, when y'all yeah. come in and praise God like this here, uh, I, I told him I wasn't preaching. I, I got people ready. Yes, sir. You know, tell them what we going to do. Come on. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So, whenever you're going through anything, remember this to take you to the next level. Yes, sir. Because you don't want to stay in your little boy strength. I mean, yeah, what do you call it? But a young man's man. strength. You don't even want to stay in your grown man's strength. Mm -hmm. oh, come on. But you want to get to your wise yes. man's yes. strength. Yes, That's sir, where you sir. want to go. Yes, sir. But see, with that, you can make sure your children make it. Come on. You can make sure your grandchildren have an inheritance yes. to you, sir. Yes. For them. Mm. You understand? Yes, sir. So that's where we're going. So no matter whatever you got to go through, remember, it's going to help somebody Hallelujah. else. Hallelujah. In life. Hallelujah. That's why he allows us to go through things. See, I had to lie. My sons and daughters to go through things. I didn't try to tell them, you can't do this. You better not do it. I didn't do what y'all need to do. Because you're going to learn. I tell them, one way or the other, you're going to learn. And you have a story to tell, too. Amen. You understand? Amen. Yes, that's true. And that's the way God deals with us. And he lets us know, whatever y'all do, I got you back. Hallelujah. Because I'm the real God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. 
I'm real, brother. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Thank you. you do, I got you back, whether right or wrong. Come on. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's the way God deals with us. Come on. He ain't trying to kill us all. Come on. That's right. I was talking to somebody about flying last the other day. They scared of flying, right? And I said, and I was talking to him, telling about faith and all that. He said, somebody told me just to have a couple drinks. He said, go on and have a couple drinks. He said, but see, then I'll get the trip. I'll think, <laughs> you know, that God don't do this. I started laughing so hard. I said, so baby, let me ask you this here. You mean to tell me that if you have a couple drinks, God is going to kill a whole plane full of people? Just <laughs> <you know. laughs> That's good. But we think like that. I remember times I used to think like that. Yes, sir. Yes, but you see how crazy that is? Amen. If I have a drink, get on the plane, God gonna kill up the, the pilot, the, all the stewardess, everybody on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> see that that old testament crap. Amen. Come on, sir. They have us thinking like that. Amen. I take a date to the to Knox Ferry Forum, Disneyland, whatever, mm -hmm. when I was young. You wanna get on no roller coasters? I said, this is when God going to get me back. <laughs> oh. Huh? And then if I ain't pulled her yet, I got to get on there anyway. So the whole time I'm praying, God forgive me for this. You got to say, how crazy was this? <laughs> but no. Jesus fulfilled the curse yes, of the law. Amen. He loved it. He gets it. He was born in this ministry. Come on. Amen. Come on. How is he not good? Come on. He's my firstborn son in this ministry. Yes, sir. Amen. All my sons are great. Yes, sir. Amen. All my daughters are great. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 And see, the word tells us, arise and shine. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Because our light has come. Come on. And then he goes on to say that our sons are coming from afar. Yes, sir. And our daughters will be nursed by our side. Yeah. You see. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed unto thee. Thank you. Amen. 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 And unless anybody else has something to say right quick. All right, good. 